Are you ready to learn to get rid of stress in your life? To learn how to deal with the emotional turmoil that causes strokes, heart attacks, bad health, and even weight gain? Life-changing habits for work, family, and everyone you deal with start here with Andrew Whitman. It's time for Get Warrior Tough on WCCP. 105.5 The Roar. Here's Andrew Whitman. All right, it's time to get Warrior Tough, the most monumental hour in media anywhere. I'm leadership and mental toughness coach Andrew Whitman. Hey, I just want to, this is our inaugural primetime spot, man. We moved to Thursday nights. I want to welcome in all of the Road Rage audience if you haven't gotten a hold of us. But I do, just to make everything comfortable, we have a super special guest. And I I'm just want to tell you, hey, thank you, the Dutch Coleman, for joining us on our inaugural primetime spot, buddy. <laughs> My pleasure, man. I love it. I love what you do. I love the audience that you're doing it for, and uh, I'm full goal. I'm ready to go. That's so awesome. Hey, listen, I want to tell everybody, if you want to get in on the conversation on Twitter, use the hashtag GetWarriorTough. Also, check us out at www.GetWarriorTough.com. Like the Andrew Whitman Facebook page. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. All that great stuff. Now, listen, Dutch, I know you're, you're with us, but you are in Pennsylvania right now. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm making a transition. How's the weather up there, man? Uh, you know what? People in the South would love the summers in PA. Now the summer ends a little sooner than it does down there. I mean, we already started uh, start the uh, process of getting cold where we have the 75 high days, which I know there are a lot of people in South Carolina that would say, hey, that's perfect. But, you know, that 75 high day just reminds you that the, the negative 10 low day is coming. So, <laughs> right? you know, you kind of get depressed when you when you feel that coming on. I hear you because I love the 75 high day in, like, November. I love it that Thanksgiving, it's still 75 a high, man. So that's why I, you know, I, I love it down here, man. I, but uh, you know what? I You know, I've been up through there. Now, you are you in Harrisburg? Is that where you guys are? No, we're about an hour and uh, maybe 20 minutes from Harrisburg. We're actually in State College, Pennsylvania, which is in the central part of the state. So you're kind of two hours away from Pittsburgh and about three hours away from Philly. So it's a perfect spot. So it's like a geographical oddity. You're three hours from everywhere. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's still kind of country, right? I mean, it's a college town. Is it really that much different than Clemson, do you think? Or, I mean, is it, it still have the same it is. It is absolutely Clemson. You just you just take the, the, the net and you spread it out a little further. Instead of 16,000 students, you have about 45,000 students. Wow. Uh, but the uh, the footprint is exactly the same. You have Tiger Town Tavern. You have the Nittany Lion Inn. You have the Nittany Lion this, the Nittany Lion that. So it's the same exact attitude, the same exact brand placement in every portion of the small society. So yes, it's just like Clemson. Well, so you're not really having any culture shock if you could just switch from the paw print to the. Uh, and I'm wearing my WCCP Clemson shirt right now, so I'm you know <laughs> I'm representing man. And, and I, I tell you what, there's not much of an adjustment because I was here uh, for a few years before. I got my master's That's from here. That's right. That's right. So I know some of the people in academia. I still know some of the people in sports, although they did have a, a huge transition with uh, with respect to all the things that happened just a few years ago that I know people are aware of. So there's a few different faces in a few different places. But there is a level of familiarity here that's going to make my transition easier. Now and and plus, it, what makes it easier is because now you're 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 united with your gorgeous bride and and the kids are with you know mommy and daddy, which is isn't that awesome? Is that awesome or what? It is awesome. The only sad part about that is that my hair can't turn back black. You know, it turned gray over the last year <laughs> when did, I was man. doing that without my wife with the four kids. I mean, it, my beard turned white. My you know my hair is like salt and pepper now. And I now know. that everything's back to normal, I'm hearing that it doesn't change back to to a darker. Hugh, it stays gray. No, so, you know, I got all my gray. I went to Afghanistan and came back Papa Smurf, man. So, I, you know, it's all right. <laughs> they do have, like, boot polish for that, though. My wife won't let me use it, but we could do just for men, man, if you have to. <laughs> but you know what? Now, listen, now you were in the middle of all that, and you were actually going through Mental Toughness 101, and uh, you were, you know, in our, in our coaching program. D tell me, little, what did you like about being part of that program? I mean, and it was, I remember we would do coaching calls and the kids would be like, you're like, hang on just a second. Guys, you got to get in bed, you know? And we, we we had the calls late at night too, and they would still be calling you up. Yes, I, I still remember as I flash back, and we'd be on a call and then my son would come crawling downstairs and, you know, asking a question or having to go to the potty or wanting something. And <laughs> and I remember that. But, you know, but the, but the calls were a great escape. That was number one for my current situation. And number two, it was it was realistic. It allowed me to, 
use what I was learning right away. So it was real time for me. I wasn't preparing for something, although you're always preparing for something. I was in the midst of something that Warrior Tough was, was preparing me for. So it's like a lifeline when you're, you're trying to figure out, well, what's going on right now, where the stuff I was learning was completely applicable in my present, and I'm not going to say present day, in my present moment. Wow. As I was, yes. as I was going through the class, Little Dutch would come down with something, and I may have just spoken about it in the group, and, it, and I was provided a solution immediately. So it was, it was very, very important to me at that time. Wow, that's so awesome. And I, and I you know, listen, man, I, I feel like that I got the benefit of the deal because uh, not only did you launch my radio career with Get Warrior Tough, I mean, you brought me in on uh, with you and Quark on Out of Bounds, and you, and you like paved the way to have this show right now. And so I'm a huge Dutch Coleman fan, but... Um, I learned so much stuff on the call from you because now I know your dad was a Marine, right? And you were, uh, yes. and so you had a lot of this get warrior tough stuff that you already, I mean, you had adopted a lot of this critical thinking before you ever met me, man. So I was, I was learning a lot of stuff from your perspective as well. Well, I tell you the good, the thing about critical thinking is everyone thinks they're a critical thinker already. <laughs> right. And some, and, and, and some people are because some of it sounds so normal and so much like common sense but it's one thing to know it. It's another thing to apply it. And I think that's the biggest problem with the warrior tough mentality is everyone thinks they already know when they hear it. Oh, man, that's common sense. Yeah, but how much of it have you done? How much have you applied to your life? And I can answer that question for you in a lot of cases looking at your life. Right, the you, you may have known this, but you sure not have used it. So uh, warrior tough challenges you to use what you already know. And in some cases, and in a lot of cases, it's going to teach you some stuff that you don't know, and you're going to have to admit that you didn't know it, and it's all good. Wow. Yeah, you know, you're right on that because, and this is what I say when I'm out on the road, that people, just because we know something doesn't mean we actually believe it. We do what we believe. We don't do what we know. And I use the example of, like, I'll ask people, how many know that, you know, going through the drive through and getting fast food is not healthy for you? And everybody will raise their hand. I'm like, so who still goes through the drive through And, of course, you know. <laughs> We all and I do too, man. I love me some, you know, some drive-through chow and fast food chow. Now that's not my default mode. I use it as a reward, but I don't really believe that it's poison because even though I know I've seen the studies, it is not good for you. But I know it, but I don't believe it because I'm I'm acting in a different manner. Is that kind of what you were alluding to? Absolutely, absolutely. That's absolutely what's going on. And this is real life stuff. That's why I love it is because you can apply it directly to what's going on in your life. The the other thing about uh, Warrior Tough is that it challenges you. It not only tells you, but it allows you to be challenged. And so once you get the information, the way you get the information, then you have a choice. Yeah, and the choice is simple. Do you want to be better or do you want to remain the same? And that's a tricky question because no one really wants to remain the same. So you almost have to answer the question, I want to be better. So if you want to be better, what are you going to do next? And Warrior Tough gives you the answer to that question specific to your life. It's not, you know, it's not, it's, it's, it's as general as you, as you want it to be, but it's as specific as you want it to be as well. So how much you want to put into it and how much better you want to be is at your disposal. It's right in the palm of your hand. All you have to do is close your hand and grab onto it. Yeah, it's almost diabolical the way we use the psychology. Like, we'll set that up. Is this helping you or hurting you? Uh, hurting me. Okay, and like you said, do you want to be better? Then how much better? Which is kind of interesting because, you know, when we go into corporate, when we'll, 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 we'll like rate, ask people to rate themselves. Are you a great performer, a good performer, average performer, or below average? You know, what do you think the numbers are the people in an organization say that they're a great performer? <laughs> it's 87%, you know, I, man, 87%. Yeah. You know, I was going to say the way, the way people feel about themselves – it's going to probably be high, but it's, it's once you break them down and, and then put that mirror, force them to put that mirror in front mm -hmm. of them, then that's when the number drops, when they realize how uh, uh, substandard they've been. But the good news is, once you realize that, then you can move forward and things are so much better then. Right, and that's what we do with the honest assessment, and we do put the mirror in front. And this is interesting, Dutch, with the higher level performer, I'll say it like this, the higher level your results, the better results that you get, because that's all we do in uh, Mental Toughness is and Get Warrior Tough is we look at results. And we're not judging anybody or saying you're bad or, you know, because we, we're always trying to build people's self-esteem. So, but the higher level the performer, the higher level the results, the lower they rate themselves. They'll be like, man, I'm working hard to be average. And they'll be like, a, I'll be like, I wish I had your results. Have you noticed that even in like, because you're an athlete, man, and you work with athletes and you mentor athletes. Have you noticed that same thing? Absolutely. You know, I, I think that sometimes the better you are, the less impressed you are with yourself. 
And um, and I, I think that's true. My uh, pastor down in Clemson was Jeff Davis, and I, a lot of people in this listening audience knows him as the judge. He's a very, very good friend of mine. He's a mentor. He's a, he's a big brother, a dad figure. He's everything. I mean, we're, we're really tight. And when he's a dynamic speaker, dynamic preacher, dynamic teacher of all things. So whenever he preaches, you know, you know, afterwards, whether in a leadership meeting or, you know, directly after service, I say, man, you know, you, I don't think you did that well today. Man, I think you need to work on this, work on that. And, of course, I'm joking. Right. But the, re- the reason I do that, I mess with him, I say, because I don't want you to be resting on your laurels. I want you to come back like you had a horrible day, and I want you to come back better next Sunday and be even better. And so that's, that's a, it's a partially a joke, but it's partially the truth. You cannot go off thinking that you're the greatest. You have to always go off looking at how you could have been better, and not from a stressful standpoint, but from an I want to be better standpoint. And I think that's the difference between world-class folks and people that are happy to be where they are. Wow. And, you know, and we kind of, these are the questions that, and I always give myself this after action report, and this is what I teach, you know, when I'm coaching coaches uh, or leaders when I teach management to corporations and when we're doing feedback, is I always ask somebody, hey, tell me something that you're proud of, something that you liked in that performance, you know, and then get them, let them answer that. And then I ask them, what's something that you could do different? And I always ask myself those same questions. And I know that's a truth. Um, and, you know, my audience knows that is that a fact or a truth that always is a truth. And I like to speak to myself in truths that I always ask myself, hey, what's something that I liked? So I give myself an attaboy. But what's something I could do different? And and I think that's along those same lines. That you, you know, if we've ever arrived, right, you're either growing or dying. If you're there and you're not growing anymore, I guess the question is, then what are you doing? Absolutely. And, and uh, people have to get that uh, this thinking is not negative. And that, that's the thing that people that have never heard this stuff, oh, you know, you're, you're, you're thinking negatively. No, you're thinking, you, this is forward Critical. thinking. This yeah. is positive thinking. This is trying to be better. This is trying to be greater. You're not, you're not staying in what you were. You're not, you're not sitting there uh, kind of wallowing in how bad you were. You're thinking about how you can be better. So changing that language is going to help mm-hmm. you as well. So you, you're not stuck in some negative field trying to figure out why you're so bad you're thinking oh i like that but you know what i can probably take this to the next level and as you continue to think like that you'll always be successful dude that is awesome and uh so look we we're coming up on a break man could we talk more about that you hit so many good things in that i mean you literally just talked for like 10 seconds and just said like things that we could talk about for an hour but you talked about self-talk and you said that it wasn't negative thinking um, that's forward thinking, and I would even say uh, offer that it's what we call critical thinking, where we take an honest assessment. We're not delusional, and how? And then you said this: How can I take it to the next level? Could we? Could, are, will you hang on with us um, throughout the break, uh, after the break, and and be here? Is that cool? Absolutely. All Absolutely. right. So we're gonna we're gonna jump out. We're gonna grab a break, and then we'll be right back with the awesome, great Dutch Coleman. <laughs> Do you want to be warrior tough? Do you want your employees to be warrior tough too? With abilities to handle difficult situations as a well-oiled machine? Andrew Whitman has been teaching leadership, discipline, critical thinking, emotional intelligence, and mental toughness for 30 years. His seminars build strong working relationships, high performance teams, effective communication and crisis, and conflict management skills. He'll change the way you look at yourself, your company, your job, your life. He is dynamic, engaging, and stimulating in his presentation, and he can help you build and develop the leadership skills and high-performance skills needed for your team. He'll give you the tools that will not only increase the positive product output in business, but in your personal life as well. To get complete information on how Andrew can help you, call 864-977-1772 or log on to GetWarriorTough.com. 80% of all doctor visits are stress-related. 80% of tension headaches are caused by stress. Most heart attacks occur around 9 a.m. on Monday. Stress is a major factor of anxiety, panic attacks, depression, and aggression, not to mention insomnia. And an estimated 24 million Americans use drugs to cope with stress. Depressing, isn't it? You're meant to live a happy, fulfilled life, and it is possible. Andrew Whitman can show you the way out. The way to deal with stress, to achieve, to break through limitations, and have an internal identity that calms the storm. Whether it's work or home, financial or emotional, get the tools you need to cope with the obstacles life brings you and still have peace. 
Mental training one-on-one will help you get what you want out of life. Visit GetWarriorTough.com to see testimonials from people just like you. Take control of stress. GetWarriorTough.com. A company that has happy employees will be more effective. A company that has employees that know how to deal with obstacles and problems will make more money. A company that gives their employees the tools to make those things happen is the company that turns to Andrew Whitman. Andrew has been teaching leadership, performance discipline, emotional intelligence, critical thinking, and mental toughness for almost 30 years. He's a veteran with combat experience in the Marines and experience as a police officer, federal agent, and security contractor for the State Department. His keynote speeches, half-day, and full-day seminars are engaging, effective, and energizing. Your employees will leave feeling empowered. They'll learn how to foster better communication, build strong working relationships, develop crisis and conflict management skills, and more. Visit GetWarriorTough.com to read testimonials from people just like you. GetWarriorTough.com.